What you guys got another video here for you on how to stop or prevent Windows 10 from automatically rebooting after updates. Now this is a really big pet hate of mine when you've got work going on and all of a sudden it just automatically shuts down and reboots that can be a big pain and you can end up losing uh, work like that so the best thing to do is prevent it. Go into the start button and settings, update and security and inside here you've got some options available to you which will prevent you from having the system automatically reboot after it's done a Windows update. Now there is an area called change active hours. Now if you work from say for instance 9 till 5 and you want to only run updates after the 5 o'clock uh, deadline you can do that by uh, setting up the changing active hours here. You can do your start time and also end time which is up to ma maximum of 18 hours as you can see there. So what you can do is set this up to suit your needs. So when you're away from the computer you'd leave the computer on it automatically update in those times when you're not busy or working on the computer. Now Microsoft have added in this little slider called restart this device as soon as possible when you restart is required to install an update. You can do this and turn this off or turn it on and you can toggle this on or off to suit your needs. So if you don't want to restart straight away and you want to physically restart the system yourself, then you can do that. And this is a really good option for people that don't want to be pestered with uh, automatic updates and restarts, especially if you're working and you've got to work open on the computer. Now another option if you're running Windows 10 Pro and above is going to the group policy editor by typing GP edit inside the search box and opening up the group policy editor. This will allow you to make changes inside here. This is probably the best and favorite way for me because obviously it gives you a lot more control over Windows 10. Now if you've got Windows 10 home the group policy editor won't be available to you. So go to the computer configuration then administrative templates then what you want to do here is go down to where it says Windows Components, open this up, just going to drag this open a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. And once we've got the Windows uh, Components open, we want to come down to where it says Update, so drag this down, you should see we're in there now, there we go. So just drag this down to Windows Updates. And then on the right hand pane we're looking for no automatic restarts or something along those lines. It's inside here. You just have to have a good route through here and it will uh, be available to you. You can see here no automatic re restart with logged on users. So you can see there just go into here and enable this feature. Once you enable this feature it will basically stop that from happening. And that's it. We can apply this and OK. The group policy editor is such a powerful tool and it's so useful for doing uh, jobs like this where you just want to lock down the system to your liking. Now there is also other things inside the group policy editor which you can mess with like uh, reprompt for restart with schedule installations and other bits and pieces inside here which is very useful. You can um, watch some of my videos on the group policy editor. There's a ton of them up there for you to learn how to do certain stuff so check those out. They're in a playlist on their own and I'll add this one to there as well so you can see it inside there. OK, so let's move on to some other things you can do here. If that is what you want to do, you can also add in registry uh, keys here. So let me open up command prompt by typing CMD and run this as administrator to open up the command prompt window. Now you'll need to add in this registry key. I will leave the registry key inside the video description for you. This is to stop automatic restarts after a Windows 10 update. Now this is essential for small businesses or companies that don't want the system to restart when it automatically does an update. Especially if it's not been set up correctly, uh, you can use something like this uh, to stop it. Now Microsoft have got a document here which explains all of these uh, tweaks that you can do to delay automatic reboots, configure active hours and also uh, disable automatic restarts and all that useful information about the group policy. There's loads of information inside here which will help you uh, understand how it works better. I'll leave this in the video description for you so you can uh, read this at your own leisure as well. Now there's also some other more extreme things that you can do. I don't think you need to do these as much nowadays because obviously there is options available but inside the task scheduler if you open this up and go to Microsoft here and then go down to where it says Windows 
and inside here we're looking for uh, the update area which is this one here if you look here you will see the update area has been uh, disabled and if you the old way of doing this was to disable this feature the actual reboot option and uh, once you did that it stops the uh, system rebooting you don't really need to do this as much nowadays but that was an option back in the day and also there's been some other more extreme ways of doing things you can see here um, enable and disable you've got full control inside here if you want to go have a look at triggers action and all the other bits and pieces there's loads of other information inside here which you can tweak and mess around with if that is your thing so let me just come out of here and uh, we'll close this off we don't need to worry about this because we've already taken care of our automatic uh, reboot be just right click on that reboot and you can see it's been disabled and you can enable it and that's inside the task scheduler anyway that's going to be about it for this video i'll leave all the information in the video description for you if you're interested and that's what you want to do and now to stop windows 10 from automatically rebooting after updates my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed this one i shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos